Hi folks, welcome to Open Source Options. Today I want to show you how you can sort NumPy arrays by rows and by columns. Now the code for all this is up on my website, opensourceoptions.com, and I'll include this link in the description so you can go there and see the code we're gonna walk through in this video today. All right, so I have Visual Studio Code open and we're gonna jump right into this and get started. First of all, we want to import NumPy. And I'm gonna assume you have NumPy installed already. Um, most Python distributions will have it. If not, you can figure out how to install that and I'll try to get a video up on my channel that shows you how to do that. I'm just gonna zoom in a little here so you can see my code a little better. All right, so we've got import NumPy as NP. The next thing I'm gonna do is make an array called A and I'm gonna make it full of random integers. So I'm gonna do numpy.random.randint. And um, I want it to go up to the value of 100. And I want the size to equal uh, five rows and four columns. All right. And so now um, let's go ahead and print A and we'll do that okay looks like we're good there i'm going to just hit Control s to save that now the next thing i want to do is have a way to run this code so import numpy as np not as numpy and that should fix the error there um, once i save it okay so now i'm going to run this script from the console from the anaconda prompt and if you're not sure how to do that i'll show you that right now so I'm going to go down here, I'm going to go to Anaconda, my Anaconda 3 prompt, and I'm just going to check that I have Python and NumPy installed. So I'm going to type Python, brings up an interactive prompt, I'm going to type import NumPy, and no error. So I'm going to quit there, and we're good to go. So now I can CD into where my code is. Okay, and I'm there, and now I just need to use the name of this script with Python to run it. So I'm going to type Python, sort, and use tab to autocomplete, sort rows columns. I'm going to hit enter, and you can see it prints out this uh, random array here. All right. Now, because this is random, this is going to change every time I run the code. And so we'll just print this out as a point of reference to come back and look at our starting array. All right, so we first have this random array set up. We're printing it out. Now, the next thing we want to do is sort this array. And I'm going to start out by sorting it by a column. Okay, so to access a column with NumPy, we're going to use our square braces to index it. So this is the colon gives me all the rows. The rows are the first position. And zero gives me the first column. Okay, and so I'm just going to print this out to show you what it looks like. It will be a one-dimensional array go over um, and it will have five values in it because we have five rows. We're getting every value for a column so we'll have a one-dimensional array with five rows and let's go ahead go back to the anaconda prompt and I'm going to come up and run this. Oh I didn't save the script that's the problem. I should get an auto save turned on there but I don't have it yet so we'll just deal with it. Okay and so you can see here's my first array and here I have 59, 55, 69, 89, 35, which is this first row right there. Now let's say I want to sort this row, okay? I want to get those, or to sort this column, I want to sort those um, based on their value. I can go ahead and do that using argsort with NumPy. So first, um, let's just do print first column just so we know what we're doing here. Then I'm gonna go print um, first column arg sort result. And then what we're gonna do is after that, we're gonna come down and we're going to do first column sorted. Okay, so we wanna take a look at the arg sort result first. And so the way we do this, so if we wanna sort those, we're gonna go A, we're going to get the first column with our indexing here. We're going to do dot arg sort and close the function braces. Okay. 
And let's just take a look at what this returns. And I'll tell you, and then I'll, we'll go over it when it comes up. What this is going to do, is it's going to return the indices that would sort the array. Now, I know that sounds a little confusing, but what it means is let's say um, that the smallest value is in the second uh, or the third, let's say it's in the third location in that column, then we would get uh, the value 2, which indicates the third element be the first value in this return of arg sort. And I'll show you what it means here. So let's just, let's just print this out, actually. So we'll print this. Um, that, and let's go back over here. I need to save that. Uh, come up here, and let's hit enter. All right, so we have our first column here. Okay, 3, 52, 81, 87, 78. You can see our first column got printed out the same way right there. And here's our arg sort, 0, 1, 2, 4, 3. So you notice that the first element, element 0, is the smallest. And these three are actually in order, but those last ones are switched. And so that tells us those are the indices we want to get in order to sort this column. Now, now that we know that, um, we can sort a column pretty easily. And so if we do A, sorry, hold on just a sec here. Okay, so if we just want to get uh, the first column sorted, we could save it as a variable, which would work. Or what we can do is we can do A, and um, we can, let's see here, do, then we can do, we're indexing it, so we want to get the row indices, which are going to be these ones here. So we can do A, um, 0, dot, arg sort, and actually we're going to do this so we sort the entire array. So we want to get the entire array sorted based on those first values. And so we'll get that here. And I'm going to print this so we can show it. So this is going to get us all those columns returned uh, in this manner. And I'll show you what that looks like. Let's go ahead and run the script. Uh, and you'll see. So I'm going to go up, I'm going to hit enter. Okay, and this is the whole array sort, not the first column, but you can see here 86, 11, 49, 75, 13. You can see that comes across right here. We get our indices um, that would sort those. So the first one, 11 is the smallest, which is in the second position, so a value of 1. 13 is the next, so the position of 5, value of 4. Right, and you can see when we do that, that the corresponding values all across there come back sorted. We have 11, 13, 49, 75, and the row values are all the same. Pretty cool, huh? That works out really nicely. Okay, now let's talk about how we can just sort that first column by itself, and it's pretty easy. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to do A, A colon 0. We're going to do dot arg sort, and we're just going to add a column reference, which is going to be column zero. And let's print that out. Whoops. Like this. And I'm going to print out another thing here so we can see what it says. That's going to be first column sorted. Uh, this is going to be entire array sorted. And let's just throw this down here. And let's go ahead and save that. And let's run this and see what we get. So we'll run that code there. Oh, and by the way, uh, the way I'm running the same line of code in the command prompt, anaconda prompt, is I'm hitting the up arrow and it goes to the most previous uh, command you entered. Okay, so let's take a look here. So here's our first one. We have 62, 78, 53, 66, 16. So 16 is the lowest. If we come down here, these are all in numerical order. If we come down to first column sorted, and those are in numerical order. Cool. We're almost done here. I want to show you just how we could easily change this so that we sort on a different column. And the way to do that is to change the index we're sorting on here. So let's say I want to do this. Um, 
we don't want to sort these based on column number two. So it's going to be the third column. Come down here. I'm going to change these two. Um, and I'm not going to print out this. This is kind of an intermediate step. So we'll comment those out and we'll print. Uh, we'll just print the column. So we'll make this two. And let's go ahead and run this. I'm going to come down here to my Anaconda prompt. And I'm going to run that. And you can see here. Okay, so column two is this one here, just the third column. And you can see that those are now in order here, as opposed to what they were here. Now you'll notice that down here where it says first column sorted, those are not in order, and I'll show you why. That's because I didn't change this to two, I kept that at zero, so it took the indices from the sorted column two and applied them to the first column, which is incorrect. Now the way we can, can kind of solve this problem is um, we can add a new variable up here. And let's say we want to have a specific sort column. So we'll call this sort column, sort call. And we can make that equals two. And then we're just gonna copy this variable and we're gonna come put it down in here so that we can, oops, put it right there. Um, anywhere I have this two, we're gonna put it there. We're gonna put it there. And we're going to put it there. And that way, if I want to change this, I can change this to one or three or whatever, and it will still work. And I'll just show it to you with the first column. And we should get a good value here. So we're going to column one, which is this column right here. And you can see initially they're not in order in these two. Then here we sorted that entire array to be in order. And down here, our first column is sorted. All right, folks, that is how you can use numpy argsort to sort arrays by columns and rows i hope you found this useful if you did it helps me out to give the thumbs up uh, as always thanks for watching and have a wonderful day